Hello and welcome to this October 8th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're taking a look at NVIDIA Corp, ticker symbol NVDA. This is about a $6.1 billion technology company. Um, this is actually a stock that we've featured here over the last few months for our members at Invested Central. But taking a look at the chart, you can see that as we put in lower lows, well first let's just go back and see as we broke down below the 50, notice the MACD just kind of came down with the stock as the price of the stock kept putting in new lows. We continued to put in lower MACDs until we got into June. And then NVIDIA did something you don't see very often. It put in four consecutive lower lows and each time we had these four lower lows go in, we had four higher MACD readings. You can't see it because of this one uh, box here. But we had four higher MACD readings with four lower price lows. Uh, very unusual. But it was an indication that momentum was slowing, so we continued to watch. Uh, normally what you want to see is a 50-day test off of a, a positive divergence to reset that, uh, that uh, MACD, that oscillator. Then, uh, it, you know, we either resume the downtrend or um, if a bottom's going in, normally what you'll see is you, you'll see a higher low print off of that 50-day test. We'll come down, we'll put in a higher low, and then we break out above the 50-day and above price resistance on some pretty good volume. So NVDA did all that, um, made the 50-day test, came down, put in the higher low, went back through the 50-day moving average on some very nice volume. And you can see really that the volume trends over the last few months, last couple, two, two and a half months, uh, have really improved. On the way down, you can see almost every one of the big volume days accompany down action. But over the last two months or so, we've actually seen almost every one of the big volume days accompanying prices moving higher. So that's where, uh, you know, when I refer to the improved volume trends, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, so NVIDIA look, looks much better. Got the 50-day test, put in the higher low, continued pushing higher. And you can see that in September, as it made this push to the upside, very heavy volume on the move from about 10.5 to 12.5. But at the top right here, we have a dark cloud cover candle. Uh, that is a reversing candle off of an uptrend. So you would expect to at least see some short-term weakness. Uh, the MACD was solid, but it was it was stretched. We had moved up as high as we'd been at any point, basically during 2010. And at the same time, when we were making this price high here uh, toward the end of September, take a look at the RSI. It was approaching 80. Stochastics were up near 100. Stock really was in need of a pullback, and that's what we've seen here over the last two to three weeks. We've seen this pullback. Uh, we stopped at the 20-day the first time with this doji, and then we bounced up for one day came back down and literally we put this hammer in on Thursday which I like uh, this reversal and we did it right on this trend line now a trend line is as good as the number of times that that trend line has been tested so in other words if you get a trend line and all you're doing is connecting two highs or two lows I think you have to be careful because you know any any two points can be connected but as you get more and more successful tests along a trend line the stronger it becomes Nvidia came down put in a hammer on what appears at this point at least to be a third point along this trend line so this is something to keep an eye on as we move forward but definitely where we're sitting now with the trend line uh, the price support we had a lot of sideways action here for about a week, a little more than a week, right around the 1060 level. Notice when we broke out above 1060, it was one of the heavier volume days of the year on that breakout. So 10, 1060 or so is pretty good price support. You can see we held 1070 on the close today, even though intraday we went down to 1038. So there's a lot to like here. We've now got the RSI back down in the 40s, which obviously is much better uh, from a risk-reward standpoint to jump in rather than chasing a stock when it has RSI up in the 70s. Uh, now the pullback has made it much more palatable from a reward-to-risk standpoint. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.